so guys uh, for uh, deploying to the Heroku okay uh, so you need uh, uh, three files okay you need you, you have to just you can say uh, create three files one is like uh, your git ignore so uh, I have uh, you can say uh, created this git ignore okay so all the git ignore okay what are the like files is not necessary okay uh, like it will uh, copy your entire code and it will uh, paste uh, this code in your cloud okay so I don't need all the files from here because you can see dot ipynb file should be here then you can see thus your environment file should be there okay so I don't need this kinds of file because it will generate that in your uh, you can say cloud itself so here you can uh, you can say uh, define what are the file you don't have need okay so you can like just define so what git will do uh, git will ignore that file okay uh, file uploading that file to your cloud so this is like uh, i have to do that so i have al already done that so, okay so yes these are the file like you can write uh, so yes uh, like that you can uh, also write okay uh, all the you can see information you don't have to write okay so what are the things like you think like it is not necessary so you can mention it like that okay so then you need uh, another you can say file called proc file because if you want to deploy it on the Heroku so you need that file okay so uh, what are the things you have to write in the proc file I'll be show you uh, I'll be show you uh, so first of all let's create the proc file so touch uh, let's create that file uh, P R O C A F I L E. So this is the name of the file, proc file. So if you hit enter, so this file will get created. Okay, so this is the proc file, and in that proc file, I have to uh, define uh, the command. Okay, so what are the commands like you want to run uh, in your cloud? Okay, so because in the cloud itself, you will not run your command manually. Okay, so it will run automatically. So what are the commands like you are? You can say running manually as of now. So it will just uh, like it will just write it here okay so that you'll uh Heroku will know okay so after uh you can say uh uploading your projects okay yep uh, yeah i think uh, it has to run that command okay so like that you have to define so here you have to define web uh, and uh, sh then setup uh, why I am writing that and you may you may ask this question because uh, if you uh, go to this you can see streamlit documentation okay so you will like find uh, how you can deploy it on the Heroku okay so you will see uh, for that you need this file okay uh, this uh, proc file and this uh, setup.sh file okay so I haven't created this setup.sh file okay uh, after that I will be creating so you need this uh, two files okay and uh, by using that two files you can easily you can say deploy your uh, any kinds of projects on the Heroku itself okay so then uh, you have to define the and then I, I was like you can say as you have seen uh, in the command line itself I was like you can say uh, uh, hitting that command okay so this is the command I was writing uh, like for you can say running my application so same command you have to like mention here because after setuping your uh, you can say uh, all the setups it will run this this line of code and your uh, you can say application will be starting okay so streamlit run app.py okay so this is the one line of uh, you can say uh, code you have to write here in the proc file and now what I'm going to do I will create my uh, setup.sh file here okay so for that I will write touch setup.sh so in that file you have to write some of the Linux command so so these are the command you have to uh, write here okay uh, so I have uh, copy pasted this command from the documentation itself okay so you you can find the same uh, commands okay so what it will do uh, first of all it will you can say uh, create a directory called streamlit okay and it will you can say start the server and it will define the port okay then it will uh, uh, you can say run this uh, config dot toml file okay so for that like it will create an environment for you okay in the cloud itself so these are the two files you have to create and uh, yes so it is ready for our, our deployment okay now go to the Heroku website now let's deploy it in the Google if you run if you just write Heroku Heroku sign up so this is the first uh, website 
and here you have to log in so if you don't have any account just uh, create an account and here I will be you can say I'll be log logging with my password So see after uh, logging in your Heroku, okay, so you will uh, get this kinds of environment. So here I have uh, two application running on, okay. Uh, so I had I did uh, you can say deployed this application uh, previously also, okay. Uh, then I have also created another application uh, which is like house uh, you can say price prediction. So it is also running but it is a you can say free version of Heroku we are using so here you can uh, just uh, you can say deploy five uh, application okay more than five application you cannot like you can say deploy here so there is some constraint you have to follow now what i'm going to do i will just create you can say another uh, new app here so don't click on this uh, pipeline just click, click on this uh, create new app and now uh, define your name here let's say i will be naming it uh, recommender system because uh, movie recommender system already is there recommender system so if it is available so it is not available it is showing let's uh, define 70 uh, 23 okay uh, because you have to define a unique name okay so that's why uh, now you can see it is like you can say showing the green icon that means this name is available okay you can easily you can say run that now let's click on this create app so after uh, clicking on this that so you will be seeing some you can say uh, information okay some commands so you have to run that commands so I'll be running the commands so I'll be just opening my terminal here so first of all I'll be logging uh, with my email because I'm using the different email so here I have to mention that so here you write Heroku login uh, hyphen I so if you give that so it will ask for your you can see email address so this is the same email I have to mention it here and I have to define my Heroku password here now if I hit enter so you'll be seeing it will logging with this uh, email okay uh, so this is uh, I have uh, logged in to my Heroku now what I will do uh, now you have to like you can say um, write that command so git in it so I'll be just writing so it will initialize your git here so after that you have to you can say write that command and after running that command uh, you have to run uh, this command like git uh, add dot it will take some time after that uh, you'll be committing your repository then at the end you have to push your code to the Heroku git push Heroku master see so if you write that so see it is uh, deploying I'll be waiting uh, until it uh, like gets deployed so guys you can see it is uh, installing all your dependency okay on the cloud itself okay because the uh, cloud gives you a Linux machine okay uh, it's a kind of virtual Linux machine okay online based machine so it is like you can say creating the environment and it is installing all the necessary packages on top of that okay uh, so for that we have defined this requirement.txt so see guys it has been completed okay uh, now it is uh, giving you an you can see url so if you copy that url and if you paste it on your browser so you'll be seeing your application 
see this is the application it is running on top of the cloud okay now you can share this url with anyone and they can run your application let's check it now let's say if select spider-man 3 now click on the recommendation so see uh, it is working uh, now let's say iron man 3 show recommendation see it is recommending so guys uh, yes i think uh, I think you have liked that projects okay uh, and it was like easy projects okay so now I I think you get the idea like how can you develop any kinds of recommendation system okay so if you want to apply on it a book recommendation or you can say a fashion recommendation okay so the process would be same uh, just collect the data and you can say uh, see, uh, follow the similar passion okay and you can like do that okay uh, now I think you have the idea and I have shown you the simple workflow of that projects okay and simple structure of that projects and I have show you and I have shown you the entire you can say implementation of the projects uh, till the deployment part also so I think you can do any kinds of projects right now so yes guys uh, this was all about from me and from my side and I think uh, you have liked that projects okay so yes uh, thank you so much uh, guys for watching this video and I will see you next time